If f of x is equal to the absolute value of x over x for x not equal to 0, or 0 for x equals 0, then the integral from negative 1 to 1 of f of x dx is. So this should be very easy to figure out because um, you know, the, the, this function is extremely straightforward. Let me just plot what this function looks like. It's uh, This is often called the sine function, not the trigonometric sine, but the sine like positive negative. So when x is positive, the function is simply equal to 1. When x is negative, the function is equal to negative 1. Uh, go through 0. Well, it's defined as 0 when x is equal to 0. So if we integrate from negative 1 to 1, we just have these two areas. Of course, we're taking a difference of these areas, though, because the function is negative here. Um, and so the answer is going to be 0. Yeah, nothing too special about this. Um, recognizing that immediately that this thing is the, you know, often it's written like this, SGN, short, short for sine as in positive negative, not sinusoid. Um, you know, recognizing the way that this function is defined in terms of X and its absolute value knowing that it only takes on values 1 or negative 1 um, and that it's symmetric is pretty much the only thing that kind of matters here. Uh, so this one was really straightforward. Thanks for watching.